Canadians throw away up to 500 million kilograms of clothing every single year, according to a new study by the University of Waterloo. Our next guest says there is a way to reduce this, and it's connected to where and how you choose to donate clothing. Kelly Drennan, founder of Fashion Takes Action, joins me now to talk about this. Kelly, it's great to have you. Good morning. You see an image like this here behind us and it feels overwhelming. It feels terribly sad. How do we get to this point? Because I think most people uh, think about donating clothing with the intention of this not happening. Why exactly. is this happening? Well, we buy 60% more clothes today than we did 20 years ago and we keep them for half as long. So the fast fashion and overconsumption is what's fueling all of this clothing ending up in the landfill. Also, there's a lot of mixed messaging around donating our clothes, right? So a lot of that messaging is around gently used, you know, so if you have a stain on it or if there's a button missing, people think, oh, no one's gonna wanna buy this, I can't donate it, and so they typically will throw it in the garbage. And what do you say to that? Nothing belongs in the garbage. Nothing. Absolutely, no textile, no matter what condition it's in, should go into the garbage. Okay, so let's talk about where to donate first. You say it's better to donate to larger companies than smaller ones, and I was surprised to hear that because we've heard so much over the last few years that small support local, support small, but when it comes to donating clothing, it might be better to look differently. Well, it all depends on the infrastructure and the relationships that those charities or um, shelters, let's say, have in terms of downstream partners, right? If they don't have the means to actually you know, connect with an ex uh, a sorter and a grader or a recycler, then oftentimes that charity will just throw it into the garbage. Okay, so what should you think about before bringing your clothing to whatever place you end up donating? Well, the first thing to do is think about why. Why are you donating? Are, do you have too much stuff? Are you really buying too much? And perhaps maybe you need to look at, you know, what's in your closet already. Look at the condition that it's in. Maybe you could actually wear it again for another season or two before you donate it. Um, the second thing to think about is look within your community, right? So do you have neighbors in the community? Do you have um, family members that could use those, those clothes? Do you have like, you know, a family that's in need? Um, so look within the community first to see what's actually needed. The next thing you could do if you really want to try and recoup some of the money, because sometimes you invest in pieces and you don't want to just give them away. So you can look to things like Facebook Marketplace or Depop or Poshmark, places like that where you can actually recoup some of the money. Um, and then lastly, if you're going to donate to a local small charity, call them first and find out what they actually need because that's the big problem. Mm. Sometimes they don't need sweaters and then they don't have the means to actually recycle or repurpose those sweaters, so they end up in the landfill. It's like the intention is good, but it's yeah. just if there's no follow through, like what are you, what are you gonna do? Exactly. Yeah. What could you do, Kelly, with clothing that isn't looking as good anymore, that, that is stained beyond repair, that is damaged beyond repair? You say nothing should end up in the garbage, so what do you do with it? Well, you can actually donate it, and if you really, if you want, you can actually put it in a bag and say, like, not for resale, and it'll actually get recycled. But you can also use it around the house, right? So you can, um, you know, wear it for when you're painting or doing yard work. You can uh, upcycle it into uh, a tote bag or a piece of art. Um, you know, you can... Uh, turn the scraps that are um, left over into like a yarn and you can make a plant hanger from that, like a macrame plant hanger. And you can also use cleaning rags, like worst case scenario. Hmm. So you're just asking people to be creative with this. Yeah, absolutely. There's Good. lots of things you can do. When we look at a number, like I said in the intro, 500 million kilograms of clothing ending up in landfills, it's important to think about where your clothing is going, where, firstly, where it's coming in, yeah. how much is coming in, where it's going, and then what, are you, what is your plan for this garment? Actually, uh, we have to reduce how much we're buying, absolutely, and then just try and keep our clothes in use for as long as possible. Take good care of them and invest in really good pieces. I think about that a lot. We talked a lot about the three R's when I was growing up, the reduce, reuse, recycle. We talk a lot about recycling now, but the first R is reduce. reduce. Yeah, and there's a few other R's too. Rental, resale, repair, repurpose. We call them the seven R's now, fashion. What, Kelly, thank you so much for coming out. <laughs> I didn't welcome. know that. Thank yeah. you for being here. <laughs> thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.